Good evening, everybody. Live and direct from backyard of House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik trying a little something different here for tonight. We're doing a live netcast on a couple of different sources. If you have not had a chance to join us for this, this is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We do this as often as possible to make certain everybody's up to date with what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South. Tonight's a little different because, number one, we are live on Facebook. Facebook. For those of you who can't see it down that direction, my phone is just beyond screen. I'm down here in the lower uh, left-hand screen, and we're also uh, live netcasting, I hope, on YouTube. We've got a bit of a 30-second delay built into this thing, so we're trying to make sure that everybody's up to date on what's going on. So if the signal's a little fuzzy on YouTube, uh, we'll adjust that coming up a little bit later on, and hopefully I've got enough tinfoil added to the antenna. Excuse me back in the bedroom closet so that the signal is getting out through the router. So again, as of right now, giving you more information as to what's going on with weather across the Mid-South. If you like more information, you can't stick around for the forecast. Mid-South forecast in the blue bar down here. Red bar where you can find me on various social media outlets. And of course, my email address right here. And of course, the icons for all the various social media blather going on out there. If you're just joining us, thanks for stopping in to find out what's going on with the weather. Drop your location and your uh, weather report in the contact section uh, down below, in the comment section, I should say. We'll give you more information again on that. If you can't get us again on Facebook for tonight, you're having trouble seeing us here, switch over to my YouTube channel and subscribe there, and we'll talk more about what's going on with the weather uh, in that location. Welcome to Christy Smith Morgan from Cortland, Mississippi. Bobby W. Smith the third. Are we supposed to have some rough weather tomorrow? We'll talk more about that uh, coming up here in just a little bit. Tamika Frost, welcome from Redwood City, California. Thanks for joining us for the afternoon and evening broadcast for tonight. Diane Etheridge from Dyersburg. Got your yard mowed and your car washed. Yeah, very good combination right there. I was going to get my car washed today, but I kind of ran out of time with all the adulting that I had to do. Dyersburg, Tennessee. Clear and cool. Michael King, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, thanks for the drop by and welcome to the show. Etuiz Nichols, hope I'm saying that correctly uh, on there. And good evening from Melanie Brewer. Thank you very much for stopping by. Let's take a look and see what's going on across the country. Again, as of right now, looking at a new storm system starting to work its way uh, into the Plain States. And that's not good news for us because we'll be seeing that storm system starting to make its way a little bit closer to us. And in the near future, that is something that we really don't need. That's another storm system coming on through. And as that gets a little bit closer to us, we will be seeing Unfortunately, guess what? More rainfall. We've already got more rain over across portions of central and southern Missouri, almost exactly where they do not need it. And also, again, across portions of northeast Oklahoma, we still have, again, a lot of flood warnings in effect for portions of the upper northeastern portion of Arkansas as all that water we got this weekend drains on down and heads to the Mississippi Channel. And that's going to be a big thing coming up within the course of the next couple of days. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that with News Channel 3. And we'll keep you advised on that throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days on here it's so we can keep you updated on that. Now, we don't have a lot of rainfall right now. It's still very dry, and a lot of what that rain is moving its way uh, into is going to be giving us, again, the potential of some spotty showers out there, but there's just really not a lot out there just yet. Now, tomorrow, that could be a very different story, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. The storm system itself, I mean, the last one that came on through, the energy of which is now making its way well on up and to the north and to the east of us, and that next storm system out to our west is really really not much more than just really a blip at this time. It doesn't have a lot of energy to it, but unfortunately what it does and what it's going to be able to pull up this direction in the way of moisture, that's where we're going to be seeing more of the problems into the Mid-South as we get into the course of the next couple of days. So severe weather at this point in time, again, doesn't really look like it's going to be uh, too much of anything major at this point, so definitely good news on that. So Bobby Smith, uh, the third, you were asking about that. Again, what we're going to be seeing again for tomorrow is mainly a threat back to, again, our west into around the Oklahoma Panhandle, the North Texas Panhandle, 
maybe scraping just south of Wichita, Kansas, and that's going to be about it. But then we could see some thunderstorms in the Mid-South as we get into the course of the rest of the evening into around portions of Arkansas and, again, southern parts of Missouri. That's going to be the main thing that we're going to be seeing the problem with, and we really just don't need that happening at this time. That's less rainfall that we could get out of that location and more that we could be getting into our area. That storm system itself, again, getting a little bit closer to us will be, again, Ooh, sorry, Skeeter's out here getting terrible. As of right now, we're looking again at the uh, worst of the worst coming on through. What we've got, again, from this storm system making its way through the area, going to set this on loop status and give you an idea as to what's going on with this. This system, again, plowing on through the area, will be dropping on through the Mid-South into the next couple of days. So rainfall chances will begin as we get into and around the area of around tomorrow afternoon and evening. Could be some thunderstorms out there. Whether or not we get anything in the way of severe weather, still a little iffy at this point in time for us immediately here. And then hopefully all this stuff clears on out of here by the time we get into around Thursday and Thursday night late and into early Friday. So that's where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of some more stronger weather out across much of the area. So if you have any plans for outdoors in the next couple of days, this is what you're going to be having to deal with out there, unfortunately, as this system swings on through. Now, it's not going to be as powerful as the last system was, but there is still going to be, again, the potential for stronger weather out across portions of the Mid-South once again as we get into the next couple of days. So if you have outdoor plans, indoors, again, may not be such a bad idea just to be on the safe side. And, of course, we'll keep you updated on that on News Channel 3. How much rainfall are we expecting at this time? Well, it doesn't really look... Let's see, that one expired. Sorry about that. The main thing we're going to be looking at into the next couple of days is going to be, again, and the possibility of some more of this rainfall making its way into the Mid-South there. You're going to take my picture off the screen for a second and go for our radar scope app for just a little bit and show you that we have a lot of activity going on up to around, say, Rolla, Fort Leonard Wood, back around the area of Clinton, Missouri, Ottawa, Kansas, and a lot more scattered showers just north of Russellville down toward portions of Arkansas. Now, that flood warning that's in effect into around portions of northeast Arkansas, that's not for anything that's going on uh, immediately, immediately when it comes to rainfall, but we do have a ton of water trying to get out of the area. So once again, for around the area close to Randolph and Lawrence County, uh, the Black Rock River Dam has begun to overtop the levee and flash flooding imminent in that area. So once again, uh, for this area of eastern Arkansas, anything down river on the Black River heading down toward the Arkansas or the Mississippi River into the next couple of days is going to be seeing again the main problem with this. So if you have anybody who lives in that area, hopefully they've already gotten the evacuation order at this time, but we're seeing again the possibility of more flooding taking place in that area, and a lot of activity is going to be making its way on down uh, into the area, into close and to around the Mississippi, which is going to be seeing a lot of very heavy rainfall coming up again in the next day or two doesn't look like what we had over the weekend but it's still going to be possible out there uh brett smith shirt or uh, sweater weather for tomorrow well, we're going to try to get a little bit of cooler conditions out there. We'll take a look and see if we can get uh, more information from the Storm Prediction Center. Give me just a second here to bring up the uh, current conditions out there. We've had a switch in the uh, amount that we use here of uh, the different uh, types of forecasts on here, so it's a little bit different to maneuver on this. I'm using OBS software to show a little bit more about uh, what's going on out there. So this may be a little bit different format than what you're used to uh, seeing at the News Channel 3 studio. So let's take a look and see what's uh, happening here for the rest of the evening again for tonight. That's not what I wanted. So live netcasting here. Stand, stand by for just a second. Uh, most of what we're going to see, there we go, uh, into the rest of the evening, again showing the possibility of temperatures for lows tonight back into the mid to upper 50s for the most part, so fairly mild, a little bit closer to 60 down south of I-40. Doesn't look like we'll be getting too much to worry about in the way of rainfall, although by tomorrow morning, uh, early tomorrow morning, we may see some more showers and Again, maybe a rumble of thunder even into the early morning hours. Now, high temperatures tomorrow uh, back into the mid.
mid to upper 70s to lower 80s, so shirt sleeves may not be such a bad idea. And then we see the possibility of those showers and thunderstorms getting a little bit more widespread, especially as we go toward afternoon and evening. Heavier chances of showers and thunderstorms in the dark green shaded category and lighter green shaded category indicates just more sporadic activity for the most part. But temperatures tomorrow will be rather on the warm side out there, going to be going back into around the upper 70s to right around the lower 80s. Chances of rainfall remain in the Mid-South as we get into around Wednesday evening, and that continues right on into overnight Thursday morning or so. Temperatures for lows on Wednesday night We'll be back into the 50s, lower 50s, across portions of northeast Arkansas. And then by Thursday, we see again high temperatures much cooler going back into the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. So we're talking about some pretty cool weather coming our way, not to mention the fact that as we get into uh, early Thursday morning, the winds at first will be up out of the south, and then as this storm system makes its way through the area, the winds are going to switch back to the north and to the west. So we're going to be seeing some very breezy winds on Thursday northwesterly at about maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour, and there could even be some wind gusts out there topping 20 miles per hour at times, especially in East Arkansas early during the afternoon. So we could be looking at some very cool conditions out there. Uh, welcome Tracy Barnes Moore from Bartlett, Tennessee. I was up in your location just a little while ago getting my wife uh, picked up from her conference at Bartlett High School out there. Lori Todd, welcome from Friars Point, Mississippi. Glad to hear that it's nice and cool and clear in that location. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Diane Etheridge, flooding in South Dyersburg. Uh, as of right now, when the water goes down, gets down here. He has the, unfortunately, a lot of areas are going to continue to see a lot of that going on. Low temperatures Thursday night, chilly back in the upper 40s to around the lower 50s. And as we get into Friday, high temperatures pleasant, but on the mild side, back in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And showers and thunderstorms will be leaving the area as we get into Friday afternoon, early evening. Again, numbers back into the upper 40s for low temperatures Friday night into early Saturday. And here's the best news of all. Temperatures on Saturday look really, really nice, no problems at all being seen in the lower 70s. And take a look at sky cover, about 10% coverage chance or less where it comes to anything uh, involving anything in the way of cloud cover out there. So a beautiful weekend coming our direction. So good news on that. Let's take a look at the Storm Prediction Center real quick and show you again what we've got going on for uh, the possibility of severe weather tomorrow is mainly out west. For us into the day after that, we see again the potential of uh, generic thunderstorms in the light shaded green area. Marginal threat, enhanced risk, slight risk, all the heaviest stuff down into central Louisiana and northeastern Texas. That's on day two, so that's coming up on Thursday. More information on that from the Storm Prediction Center. If you'd like to see more about the top 10 coolest things this week in the solar system, head to my Twitter page. You can find out more information there at twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. And of course, if you're watching this, you already know more about my Facebook page, and you can see what my friends are doing out there and everybody else at austin.onic at WREG.com. So some great information to pass along there. Rest of the forecast, again, not looking too bad. If you want to see more about what's going on when it comes to astronomy, check out our astronomy blog, our exclusive astronomy blog, I should say. Uh, Skyblog 3, it's posted right now to uh, WREG.com and also coming up tonight uh, my YouTube channel as well Bozo Wolfolk, Senatobia cool and dry tonight and looking at some more sunshine going away tomorrow with some more clouds leaving the Mid-South as we get into the next couple of days I'll have more on the forecast coming up throughout the rest of the week here online so stay tuned for more on that, questions, concerns comments, ideas, blah 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 anything like that, austin.onic at WREG.com live and direct from House Onic, I'm meteorologist Austin with our latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Todd Demers has forecasts coming up for you bright and early tomorrow morning on Daybreak. And don't forget about Jim Jaggers tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online.